So I think, I think decentralized finance um, represents a, a new opportunity mm -hmm. for, for the Philippines uh, market uh, in a number of ways. Uh, first of all, it makes some of the underlying banking processes more efficient right? um, and, and more cost effective, like for example, cross-border payments, mm -hmm. uh, which is very important. And, uh, and, 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 you know, um, if banks um, improve uh, the efficiency and the cost, it's going to be beneficial for everybody at the end of the day. At the same time, there are uh, new business models and new opportunities that are particularly in uh, aspects like financial inclusion, uh, supporting the unbanked, can also help the development of rural areas, uh, of, uh, of the country, uh, which per perhaps the brick and mortar banking has not been as effective in supporting and reaching. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so all the, I mean, in, in a way it's similar to uh, the beginnings of digital banking or mobile banking in areas like uh, in Africa or in uh, where, where actually, you know, the ability to perform transaction by key transaction on the mobile has supported um, uh, the access of financial services to areas where before it was it was very difficult. So, DeFi is another opportunity to have access to different kinds of services, uh, and 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 in a more sophisticated way. Uh, I know the Philippines has got a significant uptake already of digital assets, uh, for example, um, whether it's stable coins, whether it is crypto, uh, whether it's through gaming. Where is NFT tokens, right? Um, and there is, there is, it's a very young population. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it is already digitally savvy, and, and therefore, um, DeFi and, and, for example, aspects like the metaverse could be a fantastic ecosystem for uh, these uh, young populations to interface and collaborate and partner and play with each other, and and, and that would that will result in opportunities for financial institutions to offer uh, different kind of services. So I really believe that um, countries like the Philippines will benefit even greater for those mm -hmm. opportunities. Mm -hmm. I recently announced two new initiatives under the QPP, the National Quantum Computing Club and National Quantum Fabulous Foundry. This will further build up our quantum engineering capabilities and human capital and we welcome industry partners to collaborate with us on these efforts. This brings me to my final point. The big conference is a primary platform to bring together thought leaders to exchange ideas and forge new partnerships. I'm glad the conference has returned after a gap of in the last two years due to the pandemic. You have an exciting agenda ahead, covering trends like hybrid cloud, AI, sustainability, and and others. And as the title of your conference actually puts it, we'll have to think hard about how to navigate our collective challenges and opportunities ahead. So I encourage all of you, IBM and all the company leaders here, to think more together, to collaborate with each other and with all other stakeholders in our ecosystem, including our universities and research institutes. This way, we can harness the potential of technology to meet our common challenges, seize new opportunities, and improve lives for people.